Mr. Assistant Se uh, Secretary, we've uh, at the end we we're kind of talking over each other. I was uh, making the point that the Pentagon was devoting more and more of its resources, particularly at the research level and the force and and designing its future force configuration, uh, allocating. You know, it, it, focusing on confronting China, particularly off the Chinese coast, you made the point, and I think it's a good one, that Japan faces quite a number of national security concerns. North Korea, uh, its need to, regi uh, to provide regional assistance to its partners in its uh, neighborhood, uh, and of course they've got territory that they uh, have a dispute over, and they they see the the Chinese taking almost military action. Um, and yet Japan is able to deal with all of those national security concerns, spending less than 1 percent of its GDP, and relies in significant part for its uh, defense on getting the American taxpayer to pick up uh, a big chunk of that. Um, I didn't think this hearing was about trade. I'm delighted that uh, it came up. Uh, the lion's share of our worldwide trade deficit is in the East Asia region, which is your bureau. I've talked to foreign ministry, uh, uh, foreign ministers and ambassadors from other countries, and they say, I say, what, what's your number one goal? It's promoting exports. Yes. Um, what, I your bureau, again, the biggest trade, de the lion's share of the, of the largest trade deficit in the history of the world uh, is the U.S. trade deficit in your region. What's the most successful and tangible and definitive success your bureau has had in promoting U.S. exports or reducing uh, U.S. imports? Well, the most uh, recent and tangible success is the conclusion of the U.S.-Korea free trade agreement. Uh, I'll, which I'll, I'll reclaim my time and point out that our trade deficit with South Korea has, has accelerated substantially as a result of and, and uh, uh, shortly after the effective date of, of that agreement. Uh, there's a tendency to say, to say exports create jobs without ever mentioning that imports cost us jobs. Both are true. And uh, in fact, our imports to South Korea, from South Korea grew as a result of that agreement. Our exports eventually should go up, although uh, in the first year they've, they've declined. Uh, but clearly, the trade deficit with South Korea has grown and grow substantially after that uh, a agreement. Uh, we have a huge trade deficit with Japan. Japan is asking us to defend them as we have for over 60 years. Uh, has Japan offered to make any concessions as to how much U.S. food they import or anything else uh, in an effort to get us engaged in uh, this island dispute they have, or do they uh, feel that uh, their claim on the U.S. taxpayer is uh, sacrosanct and doesn't need to be uh, uh, encouraged through trade uh, concessions? Well, Congressman, as of course you know well, uh, U.S. Uh, security assistance and commitment is not for sale. This is not something that we trade. The fact is that we're engaged in negotiations with uh, Japan right now in the context of the TPP in which the Japanese have made very significant concessions. Only if we give them our auto market. But I'll point out, okay, the, the deal with, with South Korea increased our trade deficit. Uh, what assurance do we have that the negotiations you're referring to will not also increase our net trade deficit? Um, I was recently in Korea. I met with the, um, the American Chamber of Commerce and the representatives of a wide range of U.S. businesses, including auto, uh, U.S. auto manufacturers. Who are who looking are to offshore our jobs and close down U.S. factories to increase profits. Uh, how did you help them do that? Go, uh, I, that one, this, sorry for the facetious question. Go on. Um, U.S. businesses uh, are, re are reporting uh, unprecedented access to the Korean market um, in significantly enhanced opportunities uh, for exports. And we, we believe that the successful conclusion of the Trans-Pacific Partnership by lowering barriers and by bringing uh, high standards to countries like 
Japan. Mr. Like Secretary, I'll, I'll reclaim my time and say the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing and expect another result. Our agreement, numbers don't lie. I'm an old CPA. I look at the numbers. And our trade deficit with South Korea has grown very substantially after that agreement. And if we do it again on a bigger scale, we should expect the same results, only bigger. I yield back. Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired, so we'll finish up the hearing with the definition of insanity here this afternoon. <laughs> and we uh, greatly appreciate your testimony uh, here this afternoon, Mr. Secretary. Um, members will have five legislative uh, days to submit uh, questions 